Hi everyone, my name is Manelia. I'm a senior keeper here at Brookfield Zoo, and I'm here with lead keeper extraordinaire, Craig, with the sloth, Timo. We are here inside our Hamill Family Play Zoo, and it is International Sloth Day. So we're here celebrating with Timo, giving him some treats. He loves his lettuce. They have special teeth, two large special teeth that are meant for grinding the fruit and the leaves and twigs that they eat. And he's using his tongue to help him eat. So sloths, most people know, they live, they hang from upside down, right? So he's got these specialized claws on his feet that help him hang on to Craig. <laughs> being Don't shy. Yeah. <laughs> and sloths are arboreal. So it's very important that we keep rainforests intact and we reduce habitat loss because these sloths rely heavily on trees. And we're going to see if Timo wants to climb on this tree made by our enrichment team. Made from different kinds of branches. He's sniffing around. So sloths are nocturnal, so they see better at night. Aww. And it's his first time. He's never been on this tree before. Maybe he's a little nervous. He's still young. So we, he was born in January, and he came to the zoo in April. And our incredible vet staff um, and keeper staff have worked around the clock to keep Timo healthy and strong and growing right on track. So here at the zoo, he gets some, some chow, some vegetables. Um, sloths are herbivores. So they don't eat, they don't, don't require any meat to eat. And they have this nice thick fur to keep them warm. And they're very, very quiet in the trees during the day. And they have excellent camouflage because they blend into the tree bark. And they live high up in the tree. But when they need to go to the bathroom, they actually climb all the way down to the forest floor and use the bottom use the bathroom at the floor <laughs> um, because if they were to defecate or urinate from way up high in the tree it gives off a really loud sound and it attracts predators so it attracts birds of prey and snakes um, and big cats are their predators and also humans. Um, humans um, capture them for, for trading and for um, the pet trade, which is, you know, can make the population of sloths very vulnerable. So it's very important that we talk about sloths today on International Sloth Day so that we can donate to conservation funds, um, conservation organizations that will help them survive and continue to survive, especially these guys that are found in South America. He's just chowing down on that lettuce. Is that his favorite snack? Yes. <laughs> what else is his favorite, Craig? So um, the lettuce right now will be part of his diet when he's an adult, but for now we don't include it normally. It's more of a snack um, and a treat for him, but he also... He eats rice right now, um, good fiber. He eats um, Marion leaf eaters, a compressed plant material like a biscuit. And then he gets uh, various vegetables. And so right now he tends to really go for the corn and the peas a lot, and those are pretty starchy. So it makes a lot of sense. But um, this lettuce, since it's not something he gets all the time, he usually goes pretty berserk for that. As you can see, this is a sloth going berserk <laughs> right now. So, uh, what what type of sloth is he again? He's a Linnaeus two-toed sloth. Yeah. yeah. And so, where does that name come from? I believe it's the named after the scientist that discovered them. I believe. Usually, it's. Yep. Yeah. And then they have uh, the two toes on the the front claws here. <laughs> he doesn't want to show us his, his no. toes. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us on International Sloth Day. Hopefully when things um, get back to normal almost, um, we hope to have Timo out for chats and, and programs and special events. 
Well, thank you for joining us and thank you for your continued support at Brookfield Zoo and for donating to our conservation fund. Thank you.